Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio, it's Joe here. Slightly different setting, uh, I'm doing this at work because, well, hardly anyone's in the office at the moment. As you know, with this whole COVID-19 thing, uh, most people aren't in the office, they're working from home. Uh, my job means that I effectively have to work in an office. So I thought, why not take advantage of the fact that it's a little bit quieter than usual. So apologies if there are any crazy noises in the background, it'll probably be doors and stuff slamming uh, where everyone is milling about work and doing their thing. But I just wanted to discuss the new ban list. Now, it is worth noting that uh, an awful lot of this doesn't really make much of a difference because we're looking at a scenario whereby uh, most people actually aren't able to play the game in a physical capacity so largely actually this only really affects like online tournaments or uh, if you're playing friendlies with family and things like that I guess but again you can just play with whatever uh, list you like at that stage um, but what I wanted to do is talk about the things that have changed um, the cards that have been forbidden, limited and semi-limited and of course brought off those all together and what I think about those changes in general. Uh, it's kind of hard to deduce what the, the shift in the meta is going to be because effectively we don't have one at this stage and I'm sure a lot of other people are feeling a little bit, um, what's the word, disconnected from the game at the moment. Uh, which is a bit of a shame because this is the first time in a long time, in fact, I've been playing this game again for probably two and a half years now. And uh, this is the first time in a while where I felt really disconnected from the game. Uh, and it's not because I don't enjoy it and love it as much as, well, everyone else does. But we're in an interesting scenario. And the, the only good thing that, that comes from this is the fact that we're all in this scenario together. So we all feel very similarly. And hopefully the game it doesn't come out of this in any way damaged and we can go back to how things were in a few weeks, but that may be optimistic. But anyway, let's get stuck into the list and what's changed uh, and what I think of those changes or why I think that they've been done. Although I feel that most of these are pretty self-explanatory. So uh, the first one is Steam the Cloak. So Steam the Cloak has gone. Uh, not really a surprise. I was kind of shocked that this wasn't hit before in some capacity. But of course, Needle Fiber means... Yeah, that, that card's going to be insane. And of course, going back to potentially people running some sort of synchro spam builds and that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can see where that's gone. Uh, much the same for Destrudo. I really like Destrudo. I'm kind of sad that it's gone. Um, I feel it had a really, really good place in the game, potentially. Uh, I can see why they'd be scared of it a little bit, but I feel like the time where it should have been banned was a couple of years ago uh, and not now. So, but whatever. Uh, glow up bulb again another one i'm really sad about i really enjoy playing this in like my light swarm builds and things like that um even in like ba and that kind of thing you can go going to uh, nat beast really easily and a few other synchros it's a shame though but it is one of those cards that was destined to be broken and uh yeah it needed to go it was long overdue uh it's just a shame that it got to that point and uh, next up we have lunar light tiger uh not really surprised i've been playing that deck for uh, the remainder of the last format or it's still technically this format. Um, really, really enjoyed the deck, but the Chick Tiger combo is insane. The fact that pretty much every single open in hand, you either open with that and have a ton of extenders, or you have at least a way to get to that and end it on like two, three interrupts every single time. It was much the same issue that was going on with um, the likes of Salaman Great in that you could just generate that opening each time and you could easily recur it. I had games where I could be like, uh, my entire deck could be basically in the graveyard and I could still keep playing, which is just insane. You shouldn't be able to do that. So Tiger getting hit was pretty understandable. I, I felt it may have gone to a one uh, rather than banned entirely, but I can see why they've done it. Uh, in terms of uh, the remaining ones that have been forbidden, Master Plan is the last one. And that, uh, again, is understandable. Uh, Master Plan was, again, overdue. It doesn't say once per turn. It's not hard once per turn. Um, and that was the issue with, I think, a few of the spiral cards, including Quick Fix, is that you could just keep looping them over and over again and find ways to bring them back and abuse them. Now, this pretty much means the spiral is dead. I think you could put everything else at, at three, and I feel that without Master Plan, it makes things a lot worse. Uh, that card just generates so much advantage. Uh, obviously, Quick Fix is the other one that, that keeps the, the engine going along, and at one, I think it's fine. 
if you put everything else to three, I think the deck would still do nothing. So uh, I think the deck is dead and buried. It's pretty much a, a best going to be a rogue strategy for... I don't even really know what you'd use it for. A kind of semi-control build. It's not even a combo deck anymore. Like, it's... Yeah, it's, it's gone. Uh, next, we move on to limited list. Uh, and apologies if you keep seeing me looking down here. Uh, I actually have my full list here. I get a little bit easier, so I don't miss anything. So uh, next up is Jackalope. And I'll, I'll cover Suchinoko in this one as well. Uh, Jackalope and Suchinoko go in. Did I feel it was necessary? Uh, I guess. I mean, the, the top one, much like Nessie was, uh, they constantly replaced themselves, so I can understand why that's happened. Uh, I don't think dangers are going anywhere. I think the rest of them will still be played, but it does make sense to limit the ones that basically always guarantee some sort of uh, replacement of themselves uh, in some fashion. So seeing them go to one doesn't really surprise me. Um, and of course, stuff like Turbo and I'm Curious and that kind of thing. We Like, I love Curious and I'd rather Curious than get hit because I feel like if you, if you can avoid hitting cards that are built for specific archetypes as much as possible, that's always nice. And and Curious is built with Light Sworn in mind. It's just unfortunate that, of course, it... it well, I say it's unfortunate. It's a great card. So, I mean, I would advise using it, but I can see why I got hit. Uh, so why cards that would enable that would get hit. Um, next we see ABC Dragon Buster. Um, why? <laughs> it just doesn't need to happen. Uh, ABC wasn't going to do anything. At best it was going to be a, a, a solid rogue pick. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah, I don't really get it. Um, okay, the other ones that have been hit. So we've got two Synchros. So we've got Hyper Librarian and Trishula. Uh, Hyper Librarian... Drawing your entire deck is fucking stupid. Um, and Trishula looping your opponent's hand is stupid. You don't need more than one copy of it in any sort of legitimate tactic or play style or deck building uh, unless your plan is to scum your opponent. So, yeah, both at one is absolutely fine. Uh, Toad getting hit to one. I'm in mean, two minds on this. I mean, I fucking hate Toad because it's so good. So let, let that be clear. Yeah, I, I hate it because I'm salty about the card, not because, uh, no, like, I'm glad it's a one because of that, but it doesn't deserve to be a one. Uh, I think it would have been perfectly fine. Uh, two or even three, um, and it didn't need to get hit by. I, I feel like they're preempting that water archetype that we're going to see coming over with all the deep sea stuff. Uh, I think they're just trying to hit it because of that. I think they're also scared that people are just, like, turboing them out, and just that, that becomes the tactic of the game. Uh, and they don't want oppressive boards, and ultimately three toad plus whatever in other interrupts does get a little bit oppressive at times. Uh, Dryden going to one, I was super happy about this. Uh, it's long overdue, and then I saw that they'd hit barrage as well, which was just mind boggling. I don't think Zoo were going to do anything even with barrage at three, but at least they'd be somewhat playable. Uh, I'm not convinced at all that even with a three, that there would be any kind of high place in the meta. I think that. They probably would have just been okay. Uh, you could maybe have splashed the engine a little bit, so I get some fears there. But the deck has been obliterated, and I think that also power creep is the thing. People forget uh, how much power creep has happened in that time. Uh, and I think that the, the Dryden at one and Barrage at three wouldn't have wouldn't have made any real difference. But whatever, it's kind of pointless now. I don't really see it seeing much play. Uh, Interfusion to one. This is probably the fair balance. I don't think it needed to be. To be banned but you're in a position where you give people the utility if they want to dedicate the extra deck spaces to having a utility set of monsters that can be someone by one they can do so it's either a lucky one of that you draw it or otherwise you're pretty much not going to get to it there are ways to search it which means again you have to dedicate extra main deck space to them it means people aren't just opening them and and sort of locking their way through it in that respect so understandably uh, going to one absolutely fine mind control super strong card uh to one Understandable. I think it's a going second option. It, it's pretty insane. Completely understand it. Uh, and then I just wanted to cover the semi-limited list. So uh, malicious going to two. Um, yeah, I, I never thought it should have gone back to three. To be honest, yeah, I love the card again. It's one of the cards that I love to have in deck and be able to play in deck. Um, but at three, it was too strong. Uh, so two, two was understandable. I never thought it'd go past two again, but. They tried it, and I'm not sure it even did very much this format, but it's a case of what could it potentially do down the line. I think a card like that is always open to being abused in some respect. Uh, when Iwanka going to two... <laughs> Strikers, it's okay. It's I think it's seen a very small amount of success now that it's been you know hit so many times. I think if people want to be able to play it as like a pure deck, that's absolutely fine. I don't see a problem with that. 
Um, the issue is when it's usable as like an engine, and I think the Widow Anchor 2 doesn't necessarily encourage that anymore, so that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm surprised that they brought it back yet. Uh, I thought maybe we'd be looking at another couple of formats before they maybe reintroduce any of those cards, but I guess in terms of balance and everything else, fine. Um, and then finally we go on to the Unlims. So uh, Deep Sea Diva to three, this does not shock me at all. Necroface to three as the old school player. I was terrified when I saw this at first, but actually once I, I took a few moments to sit down and think about it, but it's not really gonna do it. It doesn't do anything at two, it won't do anything at three. Sure, you'll get the odd like cheesy strategy which aims to make abuse it. It will give a little boost to things like say a Grand Marju build or something like that. It's it's gonna be a rogue strategy at best. Uh, Spiral Gear Drone to three, uh, I don't think it makes any difference. Again, as discussed earlier with all the spiral changes, uh, Drone to three, it doesn't change anything. The deck is dead ass now. Uh, and then finally, our last unlimb was Pot of Avarice. Now this is an interesting one because again, uh, I'd really, really hoped it would go to one in the first place. The fact that it's jumped straight from one to three because it did nothing, I think it will continue to do very, very little. I think it's a three of, it's actually quite nice because there are a few decks that can really benefit from it. I like a lot of rogue strategies like Light Sworn and stuff, which could definitely make use of that card. Um, but for most people, even playing one is too much of a brick. So I really don't think it's going to see that much play. I think we may see it in, in striker builds. A lot of people are talking about that because it's effectively part of greed in that deck, which obviously they've lost engage, so they, they want their part of greed back. Um, do I think it will be enough to take it to the top level? No, I think we're going to see a small representation, as has been for the last, few, uh, last format or so, but I don't see it going beyond that. And then that is it pretty much for the list. So how am I feeling about the list? Well, as a, as a whole, I think that there's more they could have done. Uh, I'd like to discuss those at the moment. So if you were only interested in hearing my feedback on what has happened on the list, now it's your time to switch off. Ideally, you'll stay with me. So I've got a small wish list. I've got it written down on a bit of paper here in my trusty notebook. Uh, and I just wanted to discuss some cards that I feel could have come off the list. I do like to sort of go over these every now and again because I feel that there are an awful lot of cards that don't deserve to be on the list anymore. Uh, so I feel like we could have had double Iris to one. Uh, this is one I've heard a few times and I've been uh, neither here nor there on it. I'm not a big Pendulum player, uh, but I think double Iris to one wouldn't do any harm. I think the Pendulum decks aren't in a particularly strong position at the moment. I do feel that they've benefited from, benefited from the new Master Rule more than people realise. Uh, but I still don't see them being a, a sort of top contender. I could be wrong. Maybe adding stuff like Selena's given an avenue for Pendulum decks to be playable. Uh, Harpy's Fender Dust that I feel could have come back to one, uh, but I guess they're still trying to ship products where they can sell Lightning Storms. Uh, I am convinced that Harpy's Fender Dust will come back to one once those Lightning Storms have stopped being a selling point. Uh, Graph, I feel, could have come back to two. Uh, a little bit of bias in there. I also feel Beatrice could have come back to two or even three. Uh, I don't think Beatrice does enough. Uh, I understand going into like a Master Rule 5 setting where you could potentially turbo out three and it's quite strong. Um, I think you'd have to run too pure a deck to really gain from that or too weird a strategy. I, I, I'm not convinced three would be, would be overpowered in any way. Um, and with Graph, I feel that, yeah, someone from deck is really strong, but I think that Seer being the one that enables the loops is more the issue. And also the fact that both, you know, these effects we're all talking about, they're like one offs per turn. And so you're not going to be turboing out loads anyway. So I, I feel like they could come back to more, but that is probably a little bit biased in me. Uh, Dynamite to two or three. Again, I don't think that the deck is gone. Why not let it be playable as a more pure strategy? I don't think anyone would object to playing against uh, people who want to take a rogue build of True Draco to, uh, you know, a tournament where it can break boards going second or has a small element of control. People hate it playing against, like, the Floodgate Turbo version. Um, and I feel like that that version is, is gone, um, especially with Diagram being at one. So why not give them back their monsters and stuff? Like, it just it won't do anything. It's not going to do anything. Um, Red Eyes, Darkness Metal with the Arata. I feel that they could have just put this back to three and said, right, the new text is X and, and be done with it. Um, Pantheism, that could easily go back to three in my opinion. Uh, nobody's going to play fucking Monarchs anytime soon. Uh, and that's really all it's benefited in. Uh, maybe there's something people know that I don't, but I really don't see Pantheism being at three being an issue. 
Uh, Light Stage could easily go back to 3D Trick Stars is dead ass. Uh, I know that it's been used in some uh, Shadol builds and things like that. Um, whatever, Trick Stars, like, it's not going to do anything. Uh, the main issue is that it was enabling people to go into the Orcus combo, which is now a, a dead combo. Um, so Light Stage 3, not a problem for me, uh, but for whatever reason they haven't done it. Uh, True King's Return, going back to True Drake, I probably should have covered this then. Uh, I feel like this could go back to 2. Uh, again, I wasn't around when it was at 3, so I don't know if there's something that I'm missing. So if that is the case, please let me know. But in my opinion, from playing with it in the past um, and things like that, I don't see the issue with it. Uh, and finally, Tour Guide. Tour Guide could have gone to 3. Again, that little bit of BA bias in me there. Um, Burning Abyss could benefit from it. And, and do you know what? I don't even think Torgard does an awful lot on its own. Uh, we've, had, we've seen it at two. Has it done anything? Not really. Uh, can it go to three? Almost certainly. And that is it for the video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on the current list. Uh, if you think we're even going to get to play again this format, uh, under organized play at least. Uh, I'd love to at least see locals back on because I'm missing bringing that content to you. Um, and with that in mind, there is going to be a, a video released shortly discussing about some of my plans going forward, uh, just to give you some ideas of how I plan to tackle things whilst organized play is out the window. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, guys. I'd love to hear again what you think in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.